Consider as well the way that many musicians speak with contempt of hip hop music, especially for the way it uses samples of music played by others. How can it be real music, they ask, if you are not even playing the musical instruments yourselves? While there is much to admire about live musical performers, and there may always be a role for them in our society, this criticism confuses the means of human activity with its end. Music can be considered as the art of creating organized patterns of sounds in an interesting way that creates emotional involvement in the listener with alternating patterns of tension and release. For centuries or even millennia, the best way to do this was with carefully produced physical objects designed to create melodious and resonant sounds. During all this period, students would work with recognized masters or in official academies to master the art of creating music on pianos and violins or with the koto, the sitar, or other increasingly familiar instruments. But if this can also be done with a synthesizer or a laptop computer, is it really a crime against music when we enrich our possibilities in this way? The same should be asked about AI painting or architecture. If new technologies increase the scope and power of the arts, then perhaps we should step up to defend and even promote them. In recent decades, many art students worldwide have shifted their emphasis from the practice of traditional art forms to becoming art curators, learning to assemble the works of others in thought-provoking shows. At first, this trend was so common that it worried and even confused me. Who would create the art of the future if everyone was becoming an organizer instead? But then I remembered hip hop, now the world's most popular art form, which has spread well beyond the African-American core of its initial creators. Recently, an Iranian hip hop artist was even sentenced to death since the power of his rebellious music was used to defend the rights of women. This made it clear that creation can work hand in hand with curation. Samples from the works of others, or even the works of computers, can be assembled into a mosaic of sounds or shapes with results equally or even more powerful than those created solely by human hands. Stated differently, maybe we are entering the age of the human curator, and maybe it is no more threatening to the arts than the invention of modern construction equipment was for architecture. By removing much of the needless sweat and toil from the arts, the artist may be able to focus on what may be a more essentially human function making choices about how to use materials offered at the speed of mass production.